Geechee Gotti exposes A Ward. Let's talk about it. Another one. Battle Booth is half, half a gang on the low. He half a gang on the low. I'm and I'm I'm Battle Booth gang, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. The Battle Booth. If you look him up, y'all go subscribe to his channel. already know what it is it's your boy joe coming at you live and direct from the battle beef if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe you heard hey i don't know if it was just me bro but this stream that i was watching by rap grid you know what i'm saying for this monopoly card was kind of trash bro i don't know if it was just my stream you know what i'm saying what i was watching but this joint was freezing up bro glitching up seizing up i don't know what was going on bro but i was getting kind of tight i was getting kind of tight this was a night of exposing, bro. Everybody got exposed, son. Oops, got exposed. A Ward got exposed. Everybody got exposed, bro. Let me just say, let me just say, Sharon, congratulations. I feel like Sharon did an amazing job versus Oops. Sharon, I feel like was underestimated this battle by Oops. I don't think Oops is gonna, or I don't think Oops expected for Sharon to come the way that he did. Jerome is an entertainer for sure. Somebody who certainly caters to the crowd, bro. And one thing that Sharon was talking about, bro, in that battle real quick, before we even get to the Geechee vs. Award, bro, was Sharon was pretty much exposing Oops for having stolen, you know what I'm saying, from people. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know how he's some kind of like politician or whatever the case is and blah, blah, blah. Sharon was putting out there, bro, that he was stealing from people, bro. Like... Like money, bro. And I believe that he was also saying that that had to do with the reason that Oops kind of like disappeared. You know what I'm saying? And blamed it on like mental health. You know what I'm saying? Ish like that. Sharon was going kind of crazy in that battle, bro. I'm not going to front. But besides like Sharon putting out there, you know, some information that even, even talking about the fact that Oops like was just capping when he was talking about the whole suicide you know what i'm saying because y'all know how that was a big thing you know what i'm saying oops you know what i'm saying i guess was apparently talking about you know talked about like he was going to commit suicide at one point or whatever the case is and blah 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 and sharon's over here talking about yo sharon uh, i don't even want to get too deep into that because bro a ward versus Geechee Gotti, bro the gas was real, man. I'm not going to front, bro. From round two going forward, bro, I noticed I noticed the difference in, all right, we're going to cheer for our hometown hero, and we're not going to cheer for the outsider, bro. The first round was cool. The first round was okay. I feel like the first round, A-Ward, he started the battle off, you know what I'm saying, real dope. He had a, a really dope, dope scheme, you know what I'm saying, with the whole Monopoly theme and blah, blah, blah. Had a lot to say about Geechee, you know what I'm saying, and him switching the venue and blah, 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 and him and, and Geechee paying out of pocket to rematch him, you know what I'm saying, that's how badly he he whooped Geechee, you know what I'm saying, that Geechee had to pay him out of pocket to rematch him and blah, 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 A-Ward was just going super crazy, bro, like super crazy, gas was there, like, you know, not gas, but reaction crowd was there, Geechee, same thing, first round went, had, you know what I'm saying, the bit, you know what I'm saying, some dope, dope material, reaction was there second round is when i started to see and feel like okay okay this is where now we're in a situation where i feel like the gas is kicking in so i feel like a ward had a bunch of dope material in the second round was getting barely no reaction while geechee had very basic material and was getting a super amount of reaction bro super super crazy reaction bro the way that i felt about the battle though was a ward was winning a ward was up bro the closest round in the battle for me was the second round and that's because i felt like a ward didn't spit for as long as geechee did but that doesn't mean that a ward didn't say as much or have as much material as geechee did geechee's style is just catered he's just he just speaks slower than a ward so 
A Ward will say more within a shorter time frame while Geechee stretches out, you know what I'm saying, what he's saying. And also, you have to take into consideration the fact that the crowd is reacting to what Geechee's saying because there is some gas too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Premium 93 gas to be exact. You know what I mean? Like, so it's taking a lot longer for, so it feels like it's a longer round for Geechee. That's partly why it might be seem like it's closer, but still, A Ward's material for Geechee throughout the entire battle, bro. I don't, I didn't feel like Geechee could, I just didn't feel like Geechee was winning, bro. And then the third round comes, right? And this is where I start to have an issue, right? Because now we have a situation where Gichi Gotti is going for shock value, bro. It, this is nothing new, right? But this is an issue, though. Because Gichi starts trying to expose information about, like, A Ward's brother. Or something like that, right? To where he's calling him like some kind of like drug addict or something like that. To the point where I feel like now Geechee's just It's in the it's in the third round, first of all. We all know the third round is supposed to be like the most impactful, the one that people, you know, that's the one you remember. So the fact Geechee would put something like that in his third round, first of all, I'm like, why would why would we even do like a Ward, the entire time he's rapping, is rapping at Geechee Gotti. His material's catered for Geechee Gotti, pretty much. The majority of Geechee's content in like the second round, some in the first, he has a lot of generic content. Not necessarily things that are directly for A Ward. But then to top it off, he has a third round where he's trying to do the whole shock value thing to try and win the battle with shock value using an angle trying to expose a Ward's brother, who has nothing to do with A Ward, you know what I'm saying? If you ask me, first of all, like first of all, has nothing to do with A Ward, but then you're like almost trying to take a shortcut, kind of like a cheap way out of like actually having to come up with crazy material for A Ward. Instead, you're going for this shock value type of direction or route to try and beat A Ward. You know what I'm saying? Like, and to me, I'm like, bro. Why would this reminds me of right when Gichi Gotti went for the shock value versus Loaded Lux? He did that just recently, calling Loaded Lux a drug addict and blah blah blah. Right? He also went for the shock value with Math Hoffa, right? Going off on a situation where there was absolutely zero proof or evidence or anything. Even the person that accused Math Hoffa of some BS didn't even didn't even bother to continue to try and prove anything. You know what I'm saying? Like his guilt or her innocence or whatever the case. Just nothing. Just going off of a whim. Just off of a shock value. And I'm honestly, bro, like I had an issue with that at that point. But it's like, bro, Geechee Gotti, bro. Geechee, Geechee, we got to talk real quick, bro. Like, Geechee, bro. Like, we can't keep doing this. Like, we cannot keep doing this, bro. I rock with you, bro. I do, and I'm sure you do if you watch my videos, if you guys see, you know I rock with Geechee, bro, so Geechee, we can't keep doing this, bro, we can't keep trying to take a shortcut and trying to shock people and use the arsenal effect, I call it the arsenal effect, y'all know how arsenal be mad and disrespectful and saying things like, that make you go, oh, like that was super crazy, I remember that he pulled out, um, I think it was footage of T-Top's BMs, bro, on stage, on camera. I think of her giving top. Bro, Arsenal, I call it the Arsenal effect, bro. We can't keep doing this Arsenal. Like, I get it. I get that battle rap is about entertainment now, right? And like, oh, views and blah, 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 bro. Bro, come on, Geechee Gotti, bro. We can't do these types of things because I feel like, I just feel like it doesn't make Geechee look it just doesn't make them look good, bro. Like, it doesn't make you look good. It doesn't, it's like, for me, in my eyes, bro, I feel like if you have to go in that direction or take that type of route to try and win a battle, then can you really actually win a battle if that's what you have to do to try and win a battle? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you have to get A Ward's brother, brother's drug addiction or whatever the hell he had going on five years ago? Because A Ward responded, he said he's been five years sober or whatever the case is. You have to get that involved. What does that have to do with A Ward, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't like that. I didn't like that third round, bro. I didn't like that third round. 
But the way that I got this battle going, bro, I got A Ward winning pretty clearly, bro. I mean, if y'all want to give Geechee the second round, cool, whatever, be my guest. It was still a 2-1 clear either way, bro. Geechee Gotti, you paid A Ward for a rematch on Monopoly. You got your rematch on Monopoly, and you lost again to A Ward. Let me know what y'all think, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct. And better be if you're not subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. You heard?